a different system require a new system requires a different mindset i'm making this video because i put up the video about how we're going into a new financial system and you know for the most part even if you don't know exactly what i'm talking about you can feel a difference in just life you can feel a difference in how things are structured and being set up you can tell a difference in the job market in how money is, is flowing and, and businesses and like you could tell things aren't <laughs> things aren't going too well so to speak right but um I spoke about how we're going into a, a, a token economy and I'm bringing up this video because I saw a family member yesterday and young dude, I think he's 20, he says he's 19, 20 or whatever the case may be. He's looking at going into, going into the army, which is fine. Now, I, I would say uh, Navy or, or Air Force, you know, just because black man, Latino man, listen. <laughs> You don't, you don't need to be fighting and dying for this country, in my opinion. Oh, damn, these ticket people. See, I know, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is that time where it's like, you know what? If I'm in front of the hydrant, I got to move. Because it's Saturday. It's 8.13, and they're out here giving tickets. Anyway, uh, I saw him. He said he was going into the military. I asked him what MOS he was aiming for. He said, uh, like, combat photographer or something like that. And that's different. I didn't know they had, had all that, but... Uh, which, listen, if, if that's what he wants to do, that's fine. Um, my, my whole thing is, can AI do that? Can a robot do that? Does that require a lot of skill for some somebody to do? Does it require real, like, for, for you to really get outside of your comfort zone to do that? And I, what the fuck are you looking at? Go clean the fucking park. Anyway, I, I say it. You know, uh, if we're going into a new system, it requires new skills. If we're going into a new system, it requires new mindsets. It requires new beliefs. It requires new ways to look at the world and, 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 and handle things. And, okay, here's what I mean, right? Let's start with new skills. Okay, we're going into a new economy. We're going into a digital economy. Okay, that means that to some degree... Uh, tech skills are going to be needed and then also communication skills are going to be needed because you're going to have a large segment of the population who's not going to know anything about tech or know how to uh, reskill, transform, reinvent themselves to be a part of tech, right? So uh, those, are, those are skills that are going to be necessary for the future. Can you fuck it? Yeah. Nigga is walking, yo, dude is just walking across the street, <laughs> like, just taking his fucking time, man. It's, it's not an old guy, he's a young guy. I don't know, I just, I'm at a point where it's like, I got no time for people who don't have a sense of urgency about life or about their movements. You know, even just crossing the street, you see people are trying to drive, it doesn't mean you gotta hurry up and walk, it just means like, put some pep in your step to get across the street. We're in New York fucking city. And he, wow, and that could have been an accident. Anyway, um, so that's new skills, new mindsets, right? New mindset, uh, new beliefs. Listen, I don't think a lot of the people, I don't think a, a large segment of the population, especially maybe older people, are gonna be ready for a lot of the technological advances and changes we're gonna see. I don't know if you're gonna be, how people are gonna take it when as some damn, Uh, at some point where you might be trying to compete for a job against a robot, <laughs> against a humanoid robot. Honestly, you might own a business or be starting a business and you're like, okay, I need 10 employees. You might see technological advances where you're like, yo, I only need two employees. I don't need to hire any of these people. Even though you might have been planning to hire a bunch of people, you might come to point, yeah, I don't need to hire anybody. We got to be prepared for that. Business has got to be prepared. That's a new, that's a shift in mindset, a shift in beliefs, a shift in how 
things used to be done. That has to be taken into consideration. I think dating, I, I mean, yo, I think, because marriage and dating, what happens when there's apps and programs that you can really partner people up? <laughs> like, taking a person's data, and this person's data, and their financials, this and that, and this, that, and then you compare it to see who would be a better, you know, I mean, that is gonna be big. Never mind the fact that there's gonna be a large segment of, of like, understand something, and here's my belief. Women are already dating robots. A vibrant, excuse my language, a vibe, you know what I mean? The thing in between their legs. That, that is a robot in my opinion. That is already AI technology being used. <laughs> That's how I look at that, okay? Men will be next, dating actual robots. Women are already dating robots. Men are next. Um, what else? So, so basically, basically what I'm saying is everything is, is, is changing and everything is going to require a change in every industry, every field, everything. And so as we are going into a new economy, this is a new financial system. This is a new system overall, not just financially, but everything It's new. Everything, everything is going to be changed out. Everything is being changed or, or just everything is going to be different than what we see as it is today. That's what we have to understand. And so I, I was thinking about him and I said to myself, the brother doesn't need to be going into photography. That is a great passion on this side, okay? The last 10, 20, 30 years, we were in the era of entrepreneurship and business where you can take a business and, and again, we're going into a new financial system where there's gonna be capital controls. There's not gonna be the printing of money, venture funds into this, that, third, no, no, no. I don't think that's gonna be like that. Maybe, 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 I don't know for sure. I just think that as we're going into a new financial system, we're not gonna be, or we're not gonna have the ability to print or have the unlimited money, where money can flow into this money, there's gonna be, projects are still gonna be built, but maybe they're gonna be a little bit more conservative, you know, where instead of you can have billion dollar companies that are not profitable, on the stock market they're profitable, but their balance sheet isn't, isn't profitable, that that might be ending. So all this free money into, into all these corporations and it's gonna trickle down where you don't need as many HR people. You may not need as many sales people. You may not need as many janitors and, 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 and all these other individuals that big companies would hire. That is going to change. And so for him at an individual level, I was thinking that, man, get yourself a fucking trade, bro. Because even myself, and, and, and that's how I, try to, I really try to speak to, even for myself, you know, I, I understand that to me, sales and finance, understanding money is big thing. And when, when you can sell yourself and sell your opinion and communicate in a manner that gets people on board with what you want to do and what you're trying to sell or buy, whatever, there's power in that. And so that's what I'm focused on, the sales and going to school for finance, for accounting, so that I can still be in the financial world because I see there's going to be a huge need for financial advisors, okay? People don't understand the financial system right now let alone the new system we're going to, where it is tokenization and you can talk. People are gonna be fucked up. So I know people are gonna need financial advisors, which I'm looking at, but I also understand that there's gonna be power in knowing how to fix and maintain things, how to build things. Being an engineer, being an electrician, being a plumber, being a carpenter, doing these things, there's gonna be huge value in understanding these skills when people don't know these shit and the people that